Hey guys, this is Ali. Today we are going to cover part 3 for our VMware Workstation Home Lab series. But this will be without GNS3. Why? Because maybe our system do not have enough resources or we want to keep our management, vMotion, VM networks and the storage on the same network subnet to reduce extra complexity. By doing that, we will also able to eliminate one virtual machine that is our storage server because we will use a software based uh, iSCSI vSAN from SolarWinds and for that you need to download the SolarWinds iSCSI vSAN software from there uh, you will download a trial version from there and we need to configure our infra so just like in this picture uh, we need one AD server, one vCenter, one ESXi, and second ESXi server. So these are all already configured, but we need to make changes. We need to make changes in the network card itself. We have to bridge it to our physical NIC. All the network cards, network cards which will be uh install and configure in all these machines how to plug or bridge with the physical nic with the replication feature so that's how all the network will be on the same uh all the computers will be on the same network and uh, even the vm we will create on the esxi host that will also be on the same network you can use any subnet for that and we can eliminate one uh, storage as we will we, we are going to install that uh, software on the physical machine so how we are going to do that all the uh, rdp to my remote host where which is my uh, white box and i use it for the testing so let's power on our esxi So I will pause the video and once the server come up, I will resume how to prepare the basic infra for this. So it's very simple. You only need to go to the setting of your machine and in the network card which you attach with to your machine, you need to select the bridge connected directly to the physical network with the replicate physical network connection state. So this is the option. You only need to select this. So I already configured that for the vCenter, the same configuration, same configuration for the ESXi host. We got two network cards with the same configuration. It's the same configuration for all of them. So my vCenter is already up. I you uh from my physical host, I even can RTP to my these machines because they are on the same subnets. So let's try if we can do that or not. This is my vCenter. Uh, my domain is name is New Era. All right. So password, super user password. So we have all the RDP to our uh, vCenter. It's still going all the video because oh, all right, we are almost there. So this is uh, vSphere 5.5. You can access from web client or you can access from the. Just for simplicity, we can access. Uh, we will access from here because we all the RDP to our vCenter and. While I, offline, I try to log into my vCenter server. Here is my networking, and here I only, I only here I have configured the VM network and management network on the same NIC as it's a testing lab. But in the real life, uh, it will be a bit different because uh, you need redundancy. That's why you will need two network cards, and you cannot keep the VM network and management network. You can, but uh, the best practices is to keep them on separate NICs. So normally, uh, the rule of thumb, we keep two network cards for management network, 
two network card for vMotion network and two network card for VM network, two network card for our NFS or iSCSI storage. But here we, we are doing just testing, so I, I just put uh, one one NICs for it. I keep it separate from the storage one, I keep separate because uh, we are using iSCSI storage and while in the storage adopters, if I go to the properties, I cannot edit. The storage will be added, but you won't be seeing the um, port group here because if uh, you define it here on the configuration on the networking in the same group on the same switch then you will only see the VM, VM next so for, this is the reason I keep it on the separate switch and the same configuration for them for the other ESX host same configuration and I deployed a uh, XP machine last night and it was working and I can ping other machine from my nested virtualized uh, XP workstation I even can go to the internet now the question is how to add the storage here right that's on our physical host so we will install our storage here and it's very easy you download it from SolarWind uh, website uh, you install it here uh, of course you will have an extra hard drive there uh, so you can utilize later for your data stores just like we saw in the in our v center here so you need an extra big hard drive so once you add your machine here the local host then you need to connect to this local host uh, for what because you it's iSCSI storage so you need to create the targets and you need to create the devices so it's very easy the targets are actually your ESXi host. You need to add them here. Um, the, the alias could be the IP or you can give the, the host name by itself. It, it doesn't matter. The devices will be hard drive. How to add a hard drive? It's very simple. You need to add a hard drive. And it will be a virtual disk. You go next. It will be an image file. You go next. Uh, UK, if you have an all, if you already created your image uh, drives, it's already there. You you can go with this option. You only need to select that image file. But if you want to create new, you just click click next, and you need to give the that drive which specifically you want to use for the VM data stores. Even if on that hard disk there are other. Uh, data or software or anything like that there so you still can use that hard drive but the space should be enough there so you can use uh, you can take the image file there so you need to double click on this one you come here even I, I, I use this folder and then here you can use a name for example store tree but don't forget to put that IMG because if you put just a name without the extension it will give you an error let's see what's the error if I put next without IMG image file cannot be created so you need to put that IMG just one GB just for demo all right let's do it again this stroke tree dot img okay next 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 and just you can add target here or who will be your target your esxi host will be your targets and allow multiple concurrent iSCSI connections is used for clustering so uh, an assign I will use an assign I don't want to use it finish and uh, finish and then later you can attach it to your ESXi host uh, thank you guys for watching this I hope you like it and it's been informative for you 
Uh, if you do have any question, please comment on the video. If you like the video, please hit the like. Thank you.